is up, y'all? It is me, Tasha C. And again, y'all listen to another podcast. Or if you are watching on YouTube, it is basically another video slash uh, with model in it or podcast. It is day 49, y'all, of my 365 video journey, which is Touch CTV by YouTube. And if you listen to um, the podcast, such as uh, a platform such as Speaker, which is the Touch C show, this should be like, what, episode 44 or whatever, if y'all, you know, want to catch up with the numbers. You know, I, I don't have usually titles, titles for my um my podcast, whatever. I just kind of like just talk about maybe one or two things in there. So, you know, I'm random, and that's how the show is. But I am going to talk about two things, y'all. Now, if y'all listened last night, I did tell, promise y'all, y'all eventually go see. Y'all didn't see my face, my lovely face, on YouTube um last week. Y'all just see my little cover art for my show. But I did say last night that I was going to talk about not because I didn't watch the AMAs but I was just kind of just talk about um who were the winners were and talk about you know another topic I'm only going to do topics I'm not going to be here like long long neither tonight even though I it's 10 11 so I really you know if I want to speak the whole four or five minutes I could you know but anyway here we go now um here they had like half the winners, but they didn't post everything up until probably around maybe uh you know after the time like almost eleven thirty four. I forgot what time it was. But here y'all, out of the artists of the years between Drake, Andrea Grande, Harris, I'm not gonna like list everybody's name, you know, because that you know that were there. But the winner was Taylor Swift. The artist, the new artist of the year. Now honestly, I've heard of Loose Combs, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Ella. Uh, Ella, you know, I don't know why I was getting her na- last name. My Ella May is it Ella May? Okay, but the winner is Billy. Uh, is it Billy Il- English or Illish? Billy Illish. Okay, y'all know I'm, I chop up words like Jason or Michael Myers. I already told y'all I have a mispronunciation problem, but I've seen some videos because of reaction stuff of Billy's couple videos. Like I said, that is like that girl is hauntingly talented. And I mean all caps. I'm not talking about what I'm talking about. No cap as far as no lot of stuff. When I mean all caps, I mean the word is all capable letters. When I, you know, when I say it. Because that's, she, she freaks about, even, I finally seen, uh, I'm the bad guy. Even then, it's like, even when she's trying to be colorful, it's still, her stuff is creepy as hell. Only seen a couple of videos, I'm good. The cha- what if she's like only 18 years old? I mean... It's, I mean, I, and she has a future. She wants to play, you know, and it makes more Stephen King movies, or she decides to direct to create some. That's how she is. It's like, um, but, you know, very haunting. I can give her she's talented, but she scares the hell out of me, okay? She's she's going, like I said, I don't know if if, if there's a new genre of music called horror pop or horror and R&B and Turner pop. I don't know what um, genre of music it would be. Because it's not like typical pop. I don't know what it is. But just whatever Gene is, it should be haunted something. You know, the haunted artist, whatever. I mean, you know, whatever. Just, you know, a little, you know, you know, you know, haunted or a little, you know, a little horror, horror interview. Well, I don't know. I, but you know what it is. Okay. The collaboration of the year. Cool to everything for Lady Gaga, Brad Cooper, Notch, you know, of course, on time road. I, I didn't hear about Marshmallow. I see Marshmallow, that character, but I don't know, like, listen to the music. Okay, um, Sunflower, okay, the winner, and I did review the MTV Video Music Awards with Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabo, um, Senorita, okay, they won that. The tour of the year, now I've been here about BTS, um, but I don't watch them, you know, like I said, if y'all have not have noticed, y'all have been noticing like the rise of K-pop and stuff, you know, have been coming up. Like I said, when I was doing my internship, at the after school program, Boys Girls Club, and I, I was in the learning center. I've been hearing a lot of these kids that come in there, and they're all talking about K-pop, or they wish they had like Jan, you know, a Japanese animation class again, and uh, they be watching, listening to videos. I don't know, if even the videos have subtitles on it, or watching like more anime, you know, soap operas, whatever they call them, and stuff, whatever. So. That's what I heard about, but I never have watched. Don't, that's the only way I heard them is when these kids are on their laptops, on their phones, up there singing the songs to some of these groups, okay, or talking about them, okay. Favorite music video, of course, I got the Bad Pies, the Seven Rings, Without Me, or Tomorrow. Okay, 
um, Taylor Swift, you need to calm down. I only watched the video because once I seen the MTV Video Awards just to see what it was, and, you know, they had all these different stars in the video. That's why I watched it, just because, you know, Taylor Swift won a wild award, even on there. So I'm like, let me just watch it. She also performed, had that song in Lover on there as well. Favorite social artist. Okay, BMS, I don't know, X, um, EXO. BTS won again for that. Favorite male, uh, art, um, male artist. Now, they have only like, three people it's between Drake, Callie, and Post Malone. Callie actually won. Callie, you know, send me to your location, that young man. Um, he won. It's actually, when I looked at it, I forgot, he actually surprised and won some awards and swept away. You know, I was actually surprised about that. Favorite female artist, Papa Rock, between Billy Eilish and the Grande, Taylor Swift. Favorite duo, Rock, Do Pop. Okay, that Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers seem like they seem like they're starting to finally come back. Panic at the Disco. Okay, BTS wins again. Favorite uh, album, Papa Rock, Taylor Swift with Lover. Where we fall, go to sleep, or sleep, where we go. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? That's a long ass song title. Okay. And I was surprised though, thank you, next thing one, because just that song alone, I ain't gonna lie, that, yeah, that's, that, I still like that song. Okay, favorite song, the pop rock winner of Hazy Without Me, that's kind of like that surprising, because that's, um, that was popular, I, um, on Taro, I knew that was going, um, probably, it, it was 50 50 chance. It's Jonas Brothers Sucker, now that's kind of a catchy song, but it didn't win. Okay, famous male country artist, Kane Brown, famous female country artist, Carrie Underwood, famous dude or group of country, Dan Shay, okay, famous, uh, country album, Carrie Underwood, Pretty, uh, Cry Pretty, baby country song, country winner, Shane, uh, Dan and Shane, Speechless. Now, you were able to vote on, you know, like up to 30 votes. I found out, um, this is my first time was voting, you know, whatever. Favorite, uh, fi- uh favorite, uh, 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 um, um, artist, um, rapping hip and RV. Now, they only had just one category. It didn't have, like, female and male categories as well. It just had three people. It was between Drake, Post Malone, Cardi B. Cardi B won. Congrats. Okay, favorite uh, rap album. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I voted for Meek Mill's champion. And between that, it was Post Below, How We Speeding, which I'm like, that's a hip hop, okay. And Travis Scott Asteroid, but Post Below won the hip hop album. Um, like I said, I kind of talked about that yesterday. Like, he won the hip hop. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Okay, favorite song, rap, hip hop. Um, winner was Lil Nas on Tyro, because it was between Post Alone, Wow, and Travis Scott Sicko Mode. And favorite male artist was between Chris Brown, Kelly, and Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, we shame the same birthday. Not to say that's anything important, but Bruno Mars probably won. I, and the reason why I said I was surprised Bruno Mars actually won is not because the man is very, he's very talented, okay? Makes a lot of great songs. Um, I was surprised, honestly, he won because he he's still stretching out uh, 24 carats, okay? I think that was the name of the album, right? That song is, the album has been, I would like, almost two years now, I think, maybe even longer than that. And that's what I'm saying. He's still winning, and I don't recall him coming out with an LP. Did he come out with a song? That's what I'm saying. Is I just been honestly been hearing the last couple of songs was that song. I'm surprised it kind of went under because that uh, that song seems like it still should have been popular. Personally, to me, that song with him and Cardi B pleased me and stuff. I just been kind of hearing him more so other people's stuff. But I'm like, did he come out with anything? I don't even know who he is. He just that's what I'm saying. He's still and you know that song with Gucci Man and uh. What was that? Who, who was that? Um, uh, 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 Kodiak Black. Is that my saying his name correctly? You know, I've just been hearing them more so or other people's songs. But okay, then but good for him. Okay, f- favorite female artist R and B. It was between Ella May, Lizzo, and Beyonce. Beyonce won. Well, I mean, are they going by her and the, the album her and or Jay Z made or blah blah? Or are they going by you know because of last year? Is it because of the Lion King soundtrack? Or, I, I don't know. Well, you know, the answer was a category she was going to win. Okay, favorite uh, album, Soul and R&B, Chris Brown Indigo, and Ellie Mae's album. But the winner was Khaled's, Khaled again. Um, Khaled, I think his name is Khaled, like DJ Khaled, ain't it? Fury Spirit, I was surprised he won. Okay, the favorite R&B, so now it's Khaled Talk had won over Ju- Juice and Ellie Mae Tripp. But, if it would have been honestly uh booed up, even though I know that's been overplayed and stuff, 
Maybe she must have won. For, I don't know if she won any made stuff like that, but I was surprised. Khaled personally won uh, some talk because I honestly haven't heard that song. But Juice, that's when I really started hearing Lizzo. I didn't know she did the good as hell song. Even though seeing Barbara start to feed until I looked at her videos, like I said, when I found out about the Scorpion show, shout out for Kevin Scorpion show on YouTube, and he on Instagram, and that's how I found out about Lizzo, like, probably like April or May, I ain't gonna lie, okay. Favorite alternative rock artist, okay, that's where category she is. It still should be alternative horror rock or hunted rock, uh, there's between Magic Drags, Pan at Disco, and Billy English, one again. Favorite, uh... Godot Temporary Artist, okay, it was between Moon 5, Pink, but the winner was Taylor Swift. Favorite Latin Artist, okay, between Bad Boy, Jane, Balvin, and I think, ooh, Z- Z- Zuna? Okay, Favorite Contemporary Inspirational, Lauren D- Daly for King, the Country, versus me. They didn't even show, like, who else they were winning with, they just showed that person. Okay, oh, the winner's Lauren Daly, and then it says... It's just the way they wrote it down, these last two of the people, I guess, or persons or groups, for the king of the country and mercy me. But it was Lauren Dagley, whatever, okay. Favorite artist, um, dance, electronic music is E, oh, okay, E, uh, E, okay, I guess that's what it means, EDM. Um, Alcozzi, oh, oh, I do not want to mess them, okay, A-V-I-C-Z-I-I. Okay, winner was Marshmallows, and somebody else was chain smoke. Favorite soundtrack, winners, by Hema Raspberry, Raspity. By Queen. Okay, that was Queen Star is Born. And that's pretty much it. That's all. Okay. And I also had seen when I went today, I mean, no, just a couple uh, minutes ago before I started this, po- uh, this podcast, that again, the AMAs dropped in their ratings again, even though it was more Taylor Swift. But see, unless, like I said, like, for example, the only reason why... I watched the MTV Music Wars because of the Miss Lee Elliott tribute. And, but I didn't know New Jersey, like Queen Latifah, Redman, they were actually going to perform. So that was, that was a bonus. But it was the same, like the BET, I decided to just go ahead and watch it. But usually I don't watch it, whatever. And, but other than that, you know, like, the award shows, like, even the Grammys. I had stopped watching the Grammys a long time ago. A lot of people... Want to just see, usually, it seems like, the performances. And you can see clips on YouTube. You can see them on Instagram. And you know how you can do e- IGTV and stuff like that. So, a lot of people, you know, watch, you know, watch it and they don't want, watch anymore. People just say, I'll just watch the snippets. I ain't got time to be watching the shows. And a lot of award shows, they're not as good. Like, MTV use awards last time they were good, like, with the early 90s. No, the late 90s and early 2000s, like with Chris Rock and even if, uh, Jamie Ford Fox was, was hosting this stuff, you know, whatever. So what I'm saying is, is that it's totally different than it is now. So other than that, y'all, let's, you know, that's through the little Amy Names uh, result, um, uh, winners um, results. So um, me and my sister, uh, what am my sisters, y'all, it's <laughs> also my bestie, um, this came out of nowhere, but we were talking about, you know, the, you know, y'all remember, well, most of y'all probably do, like, Despicable, if y'all have, you know, been around kids, have kids, or whatever, and Despicable Me, that's why I remember the movie, like, Despicable Me, and it actually was three of them came out, and one of the, actually, some of the, not the main characters, but you know, sometimes, like, you know, the other characters that are in the film, but they're not the main characters, but they stand out to a point that eventually spin off and get their own spin offs and they become popular, or whatever, right? So, in the Despicable Me, you know, um, movie franchise, they, the, the, act, the side character or other characters that end up getting their own, you know, spin off and everything were the minions. And, you know, the minions, you know, these little, little aliens, most of them have, like, one eye, they're yellow, they got, you know, their little overalls and stuff, you know, they, I think their purpose is able to serve, you know, they're supposed to serve people that want to serve somebody that's, like, despicable, coincidence, um, they even had their own video game, and, you know, their own movie, like I said, they, you know, um, when I mean they had their own spinoffs, they had their own spinoffs. So, me and sis was talking, because I was thinking about how I still had the Minion Cubs, because I bought, 
you know, I like to say to perform my sister, my, the ninis, minimis, or some of the babies, and my nephews, you know, our ne- nephews will too. Um, that I bought like the boys mostly, like it's three boys out of the, of the book, uh, little Kenny, Mister and Poo Poo, and I've got them all, you know, the little minion, little, you know, like you know, just not like to say a sippy cup, but just a kid cup, you know. Um, they so some like they were having it for some reason. Even though they were still popular, luckily they had them at the Dollar Tree. Okay, somebody was telling me about like, hey, did you, you know we can we just got in stock the Dollar Tree and tell me about it? So I couldn't resist, so I got them. Okay, whatever, right? And we were just talking about remember y'all when it came out, you know, on DVD. You might as well say we well, could buy it and stream it or whatever, you know, or get download and watch it. Now, all, all, well, especially, like, out of the four kids, because Little Kitty, you know, is the oldest, but, um, out of the rest of the four of them, Layla, Poo Poo, Mr. McKenzie, okay, Layla, Poo Poo, Mr. McKenzie, and Layla, they all have their own different personalities, even though they're cousins. Now, the thing is, is that this is one movie that they all liked and agreed with. Me and my sister was talking, because we sit here like, you know what, I'm kind of, I'm glad that the minion thing has passed to a certain point, because here you got kids that clearly know how to talk, but you know, if y'all ever watch these damn minions, okay, even though I'm talking about getting, talking about some kids stuff, this ain't for kids, okay, <laughs> we out here, these damn minions, and here you got these kids that know how to ask, like, yes, I want this, no, I don't want this, or whatever, what we're we doing today, and have, like, clear conversations with you, because at the time, I think, you know, they were all, okay, I don't know what age Mr. was. I know he was like four or five. I forgot. But what I'm saying is between the kids, the ages between like uh maybe like six or seven and between four. But like I said, they they're this they're past all past the stage where you know they're not talking gaga Google talk. Okay, they clearly know that's what they want and everything else. But when them damn minions come out, y'all. Minions talk like this. I got oh, he got oh, it that did this here, uh, here. We want to go here, here. Oh, you know, that's how they talk. Like, they don't really have like a very extended vocabulary. So they just say a lot of oh and everything else. And I'm like, you know, that's cute and all, but they were able to have a whole movie where you don't really understand what the hell they're saying. It's like, shit, <laughs> okay, these damn minions can't really talk and guess what because of the impact of certain things you know sometimes it could be you know it could be good or bad effects in this case that's cute and all that all the kids liked it i mean i'm talking about our little our family the kids liked it the minions but the damn problem was listening to these kids talk Go backwards and talk it. All of them talking in gibberish. Uh, it was cute at first. They every time all oh, it seemed like they had to do like at least once or twice a day. Like it seemed like thirty days, damn they're straight. Or something else. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. Anyways, here we got the kids up here saying, I, I mean, we want to watch minions. Then you know they talk clear for that when they want to watch the minions, right? Because I was able to get the film and just put it on my you know, you know, like just plug it in and put it in so they can watch on my laptop or watch the TV, whatever. Every time they watch, like I said, they, they clear when they listen to them. It'd be all four of them. Three to four, like I said, Lil Kenny, you know, wasn't into the minions. I don't think he was. I don't think he was, but not like that as them, like I said, because he's the oldest one. I mean, he's still in their age group, but he was like, minions, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> With them, they all like, we want to watch the minions. Can you put it on, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as y'all, when you heard them talk, and like I said, if y'all seen this damn film, y'all will understand this. Here these kids go. He he he, meep meep, beep beep, da da da, oh, oh, this, meep meep, here, go here, whoop beep, why, ooh, ee, 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 ar, 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 you know, I, whatever shit they were saying in the damn film. That's what we heard. And so, after even the film plays, when they, you know, get their little imagination castles or whatever, and their imaginations are sometimes general, they watch the damn million so much, y'all, that they start talking like them at times. Me, me, ee, ee, ah, ah, er, er. <laughs> and my sister's ever been listening to this podcast. Like I said, we were just talking like, Lord, I'm glad to be the million stage is over with because 
They were up here trying to sound like minions even at the time. They went from being clear even sometimes like, you know, they want something, they hungry, yeah, hungry, meat, meat, beep, beep, eat, 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 you know, just up here repeating, like, sounding like the minions in the damn movie. So I'm glad that stage is over with. I got time for that. We got time for that. And I know most of y'all parents, uh, you know, mentors, aunties, uncles, grand granddaddy, grandmamas, and so forth, and just, you know, and mentor, mentees, and just other people, and loved ones, computer, and just neighbors, whoever had to deal with this damn movie came out, is probably glad if their kids were influenced by talking like these damn minions. Excuse me, y'all, I didn't feel like uh, pausing, I had to take my medicine, and uh, <laughs> so I was drinking some water and taking some medicine. So yeah, y'all, that was what I just wanted to talk about, just random. So, um, I also had, uh, you know, I, I thought about two, I don't think it's nothing else I want to talk about. I know it was just random me talking about the AMAs and talking about the minions, but um, I just had, it just came to mind, like I said, sometimes I think about the topic the day of or the day before. So that's what I want to talk about is the damn minions. I don't know, say, if they'll bring back the minions or to become popular again or do will they have a minion? Minions too. Because minions was a prequel to Despicable Me. Because they could do that, you know, y'all. You know, I, I honestly only see Toy Story 1. I did not say Toy Story 2 or Toy Story 3. They're damn sure not Toy Story 4. It's not because I didn't like the movie, nothing like that. I just did not see it. Okay, I did not see it. And they got Frozen 2, and y'all, I still never seen Frozen 1 or definitely Frozen 1 yet or nothing like that. So what I'm saying is, even if, say, they do a remake and it's so many years later, they could possibly, I don't know if the kids are ready to me. It's like I said, you don't ready back for the minions yet anymore. I don't. I. I don't think they're on that. Okay, but then again, Incredibles. I didn't see that. I, you know, I didn't see that neither. And people were hyped. Grown ass people were hyped. That's what I'm saying. When I get to time, I gotta. You know, uh, <laughs> go ahead and see. You know, Incredibles one, which was what 15 years ago, and then and now. So, and, and see Incredibles 2, and people were hyped about that. So, it depends on, maybe, you know, they look at the numbers and stuff, or maybe they might have to do a lot of surveys, because, you know, that's one thing about people doing these surveys. One of the things is, it's like, populations and some whatever, but, you know, uh, I don't know. But I'm just saying, y'all, uh, um, they, they ain't got to bring the minions back. <laughs> well, I mean, the kids are older now anyway, so I don't think they'll be up here, meet, meet, any meet. I mean, they're big enough, whereas... You know, the youngest now, oh, the mister just turned, ain't no time flies, but I think he just turned, did he turn six? I think he did, but which, what I mean is, is that they're old enough, and then, look, Kenny, it will be 11 in the next year, or something like that, but I'm just saying this, in terms of the kids, um, they'll, they'll be old enough anyway, that it won't be that now, let's new generation of kids to come out, then they be back to meet me begin. I'm like, mm, ain't no, y'all ain't seen that movie because I ain't got time to be hearing our our bark barking all this other stuff. Okay, speaking of that, before I go off of there, I'm not talking about the kids, but I am talking about um um, but I am talking about this. Sorry, y'all, y'all know I I forget to warn y'all about the technical difficulties the difficulties that it may occur. Be, just to let y'all know again, when I'm recording on my phone, and maybe I need to start putting that in my intro and stuff, um, if I have notifications, or if I'm going into a website, y'all may hear clicks, like that, which is a notification, um, oh, beeps, whatever, that's coming from my side, it's nothing wrong for y'all, the device that y'all, che- you know, are listening to me from, you know, it's from my side, just to let y'all know that, because, this, this, I love the equipment, but, you know, y'all be hearing everything. <laughs> but it's weird, y'all. When I put the sound effects on, um, I can't hear them until after I play, um, the draft or if I make it to a show. The recording of the show, basically. So, what I meant to say, well, before I get off of here, speaking of my, uh, nephew, I like I said, I don't want to make about kids. I was able to just go ahead and tell him the truth about, um, what's going on with YouTube, and he's just like, oh, okay, because, you know, he's a kid, but I just let him know the best I could, considering that he's a child, about, basically, he's just doing YouTube for practice, so, because even if, say, 
he was one out of a million kids that got Papa off of YouTube and got modernization and all this stuff. That could change because he's still under, even under the age of 13, I would want his ass thinking that he going to be up here, uh, put and say, put content down, this is made for adults. Now, they only got adults or kids. They ain't got PG, you know, like, a, you know, the rating system. They ain't got rated G, rated PG, rated R, rated PG-13, mature, MA, mature adults only. You know, not that system. They got either adults, you know, when they say they're kids, between 13, but that's still kids. Okay, I digress. I ain't about to sit here talking about all that stuff. But, yeah, y'all, so he may, well, he hasn't really made no videos anyway on there, so... Uh, you know, by the time even say where he could change and who knows by three years by now, what will change then as far as the rules or whatever, but I'm just, you know, it's not like he's crying about it or sad, but you know, I just had let him know about, you know, the best way I could consider he's a child, you know, no matter how telling these kids are, they're kids. So <laughs> anyway, y'all. Hugs and loves, and I'll see you in the next podcast, the next video. I ain't gonna say I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Y'all may see my face the next day, too. But I just wanted to let y'all know I was back here again. So, hug the lux, everybody. And God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next one, you, you know. And thank you for everybody who has been listening to the podcast or has been watching my video journey. Um, I appreciate you who have, and I appreciate who will be wa- watching and listening in the future. Like I said, it's the countdown. This is Monday. This is November 25th, 2019, y'all. It is almost, whether it's Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving to y'all, um, it is almost green beans, potatoes, tomatoes, okay? Because, you know, you, you know, the people sometimes have vegan Thanksgiving dinners, too, or just vegan dinners. So, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, it's almost time to bean, greens, potatoes, you name it, okay? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, hugs and love. See y'all in the next one.